Damn, I did not finish my food. Anyways, I was born early in life, but bro, I got to experience GTA Online. This is a nice game if you got the money to play it with. <laughs> Don't worry, my infinite knowledge about this game will present you the five best businesses to make money with in this game. So let's go! Coming in at number five, we got the Kayaprika Heist. The ranking does not matter because I just randomly put they put them in this order so please do not overthink about it all right now this of course is the best heist in gta online and every gta online player and their mother have done this heist at least once in their lifetime and the amount of glazing that this business gets is just extremely annoying at this point like bro i get it you love this heist i don't but we still love it so we don't care <laughs> and the benefits from the kosaka are obviously the sparrow this, this is a fast and really clean helicopter which in turns helps you set up the heists well i mean set up uh, set up the setups that are required what does that mean set up the setups whatever for the kai Brigo heist it makes sense so far right all right good once the setups are, compl are completed you can start the heist and it's fairly simple and make your way to the island and steal wh whatever the loot is and escape then you just have to deliver it and just get rewarded with the money and just spend it on hookers i'm joking i'm joking I mean supplies, all right? Whew, that was close. Coming on number four, we got the CEO office. Now, boys, this is a really good business. To obtain an office, you first need to purchase one from, from, from the dining state executive. Cheapest one is around $1 million, and the most expensive one is, is around $4 million, if I'm correct. And depending on your budget, you will have to decide on which one suits you the most. You can also purchase a garage inside your office building, and they will rack up the price of the office of course if you if you ever decide to purchase one after all that is done the main ways they can make money with the office can be started from this pc on on this desk so what are they they are special cargo warehouse and vehicle cargo warehouse the, these two businesses complement each other really well and they both require a warehouse and uh, these businesses are fully active businesses meaning you need to work hard and to generate money and if you ain't got soft hands brother you will be fine the special cargo business works by sourcing crates and delivering them to your warehouse. You can, you, 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 you can source anywhere from one to three crates. I personally recommend for you to source three crates so you can fill your warehouse a lot faster. And the vehicle cargo makes a tad bit less money, but it's really similar to... It's really similar. Sourcing a car and, and delivering it to your vehicle warehouse and then sell your vehicle to earn profit. Coming on number three, we got the bunker. These can be bought from the maze bank foreclosures for a fairly cheap price, and that's without any up upgrades, but I'm not gonna lie to you boys, the upgrades seem really dog shit in my opinion, but besides the transportation, as this is probably the best one and my favorite one, I'm not gonna lie to you. Instead of wasting your, your fucking money on up upgrades, bro, save them and invest them into these bunker upgrades right here. Bro, right here, they're gonna absolutely increase the profits of your, of your bunker. They are really important and a must. Plus, another tip, buy supplies instead of stealing, s stealing which saves you a lot, a lot of time. All right, once you got the stock that you want to sell, start off a sell mission. When selling and you don't have a good sale vehicle, do, do the method where you exit the lobby and join an another one. Now, you will only lose a little bit of amount, but it won't really do any financial damage to you, so you'll, so you'll be fine. You can expect to earn anywhere from 100,000 to 1.3 1, million, depending on the stock and the lobby you're selling at. Uh, next, for a quick 50,000, I want you to come here and sell this by delivering this vehicle to an ammunition for a quick and easy 50,000. Coming on number two, we got the agency. This is one of the best businesses in the game. You can make lots of money, but to get started, you first need, 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 need to obtain one from the Dynasty Executive. Buy whichever one you want. And the difference between this and the bunker is that these upgrades are, are really kind of worth it in my opinion. And they offer the best advantages for your buck. I like the armory accommodation and the vehicle workshop. The vehicle workshop off offers you the money tech upgrades and these are game ch changer in, in public l lobbies like the fucking missile lock on jammer i'm telling you my man this upgrade alone m will make griefers with their mk2 and missile lock on vehicles str struggle kill you as they cannot lock onto you you got what i'm saying because the the missile lock on is jammed <laughs> Matt deserves a clap right there i'm not gonna lie making it very worth it for grinders but honestly man Instead of grinding GTA Online to make money, why don't you grind in real life and become rich? My goal for L, all of my viewers to be happy, successful, and watch me and have fun. Bro, pursue your dreams, my man, alright? This has nothing to do with GTA, but bro, 
pursue your dreams. You can make it happen. I do not want you to be a nine to five worker. I want you to be a businessman and have your own business or enjoy your life. You got it? Good. And there are a couple of ways that you can make money with this business. And we got the Dr. Dre heist. We're starting off with that. It's really simple. You first have to complete all the setups and boy, there are a lot of oh setups for this particular heist. Once completed, st start the heist and earn money. Next, you got the agency contracts. These are my favorite way to make money with the agency. It don't matter to me uh, that they make less than the heist because more money, more problems. <laughs> Anyways, the contracts range from difficulty and profit, but they really are fun to do. In my opinion, at least I, lo I love them. You can earn anywhere from 30 to 80,000, but if I if I remember correctly. And, and next we got the payphone hits. Yeah, they got heavily nerfed a while back. Taking them from a price that I do not remember w w what it was to a price that we have right now. I think I'm doing a shitty job of, of, of presenting, so I don't really care. Plus, <laughs> two hour per dollar job. <laughs> y'all saw that me? Y'all do not watch Instagram? Uh, okay, I'll talk to myself again, whatever. All right, but in all seriousness, this is a really good business to own. So please, I want you to buy it. Coming on to number one, we got the nightclub. Yeah, boys, favorite business. You can buy it from the Maze Bank foreclosures. When buying this business, I highly recommend investing it. Investing most of your money towards the storage facilities. As the, as the more storage you got, the more you can store and earn makes sense right all right your popularity bar right here plays a massive role in how much m money the front of the nightclub earns making it extremely and highly valuable way to make money passively and legally but who the fuck cares if it's legal is it's gta online not diddy's palace for the storage you're going to need to own the other passive income businesses to your nightclub to generate you money so that means that the nightclub is best owned later on in your gta online career you will have more equity and more businesses to connect it to but the choice is completely yours my man right when you're ready just go sell press this and and and, and a sale mission will will commence just deliver the stock to, to where it, it needs to be delivered and the money will, will, will be deposited in your account oh yeah by the way tony also takes a 10 percent cut from every single sale that you make so just keep that in mind it's not much for your frugal and and, and money hungry motherfuckers but you'll be fine so do not worry please and yeah i mean bro this business is actually really really well i fucking recommend it it's my fav favorite and all of the businesses that we mentioned in this list are all good and there are multiple businesses in, in the game so the choice is yours as long as you, as you as you make the right choices in life and in video games you're just gonna be fine honestly so play so yeah my mans please y'all please subscribe to the channel and also please follow me on twitch i love y'all very much one day you're gonna see me up there and you're gonna be like damn i i used to watch you when you had a thousand two thousand three thousand subs or even ten thousand subs i would love to hit ten thousand subs on on, on 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 this channel like i would love to but but anyways i love y'all very much i'll see you in the next video peace